today on the 120th anniversary of his birth. It is right that we should honor him at the British Embassy, not far from where he used to work in the 1930s. He was indeed a brave, humane, and honorable man, a true British hero. It's now my privilege to unveil a plaque to the memory of Frank Edward Foley. Foley's legacy is that my mother survived, and I did, and my three children and my seven grandchildren. And that is the true legacy of Frank Foley. And he did what he did by breaking the rules. He obtained documentation against the quota that was allowed at the time, and because he felt that humanity should overcome all the bureaucratic rules. Um, I spoke to MI6, the British Secret Intelligence Service, and they, um, they, they said to me, I'd sort of asked them lots of questions because you know, I was writing a book on British intelligence, and um, they said that um, at the end I asked them if there was anything they wanted to say that I hadn't asked questions on, and they said there were two people who they were very keen who there had been in the service before the war and who were very important people and never been given the recognition they deserved. And one of them was Frank Foley. They told me about this man who saved more Jews than Schindler and Wallenberg put together. And I, I just, you know, I thought, well, I've never heard of this man. I know who Schindler is. I know who Wallenberg is. I don't know who this man Frank Foley is. I've never heard of him.